there's a lifetime deal that's going on right now that's going to help you index your website links to Google. That means that it's going to have a direct connection to know if it's indexed or not. And if it's not, know why. And if it's not, well, index it. So let's go check it out right now. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Warp Index, and I have my main website connected to it. So currently, it's scanning and it's talking to Google and getting feedback to know if my links are indexed. And if they're not, letting me know why. And if they're not, well, I can go ahead and tell Warp Index to index them. It's kind of redundant, but it gets the job done. So let me show you first the deal that's going on before we jump into how it actually works. This is Warp Index and it's a lifetime deal right now. And if you ask me if it's worth grabbing Warp Index, I definitely say yes, because it's super important to have your links indexed. Now, having this on a lifetime deal will makes it really worth getting. All right. So it starts off by $29 with two websites, which I think it's really important because if you have two websites that are really important to you, then it's more than enough to pay $29, which is super inexpensive for a lifetime deal. But if you have more websites and you need more requests per day, then go ahead and check out license here two, three, and all the way up to five for 200 websites and 10,000 requests per day. So it also does a daily sitemap sync with tier one and all the way up to tier five. It's an hourly sitemap sync. Now it might be overkill unless you are super into SEO and maybe you are offering that service as an agency, then definitely this is worth it for you. But definitely most of us will do fine with license tier one or two or three, which I think is like the sweet spot for the websites. For me, tier one is more than enough because I have two websites that are the most important ones and I really want to look out for. I have more than those websites, but there's just two websites that are really interested in having them indexed and actually analyzing them. So this is a lifetime deal. If you want to check it out, the link will be provided in the description. OK, so Warp Index, how does it work? OK, the first thing you have to do is connect to Google. That means that they have to talk to each other to know if your links are indexed and then it's going to connect to your index, your sitemap of your website. So if you have a thousand links on your website, well, in this case, 4,771 links and Google has 3000 links index. Well, what's happening with the rest of the 1,771 links? Why are they not indexed? If there's something wrong with them, if they've just not caught it, how, do we have to manually index here with warp index or something is wrong with the terms and condition of Google? And that's why those aren't indexed. So a lot of things come into uh, information that comes with this that's going to help you know why they are not indexed. So first off, right now it's 28% scanned of my website. And here's a quick overview, the bulk index feature. That means that I can index through my sitemap. So I can go ahead and select the sitemap and just go ahead and index everything or the URL list. I can add a list here, one per row and go ahead and index just the ones that I add right here. So maybe you have a quick list of, um, I don't know, a few blog posts that you just added and you want to index them. This is the way to do it. If not, just go ahead and do the whole index for the sitemap. And then there's the bulk D index. So you can go ahead and do the index from here without having to go into Google and do it over there. So you again, you can do via sitemap. So maybe in the sitemap, there's a section where you have, for example, here's my post, here's categories and here's the whole sitemap. Maybe I want to de index categories. Well, I can go ahead and do so right here with sitemap or again via URL one per line right there. And then the setup process um, in Google, you do have to add a connect a service account, which is the email that's going to be connected to Google. So it does that connection. In this case, this is the email. And here's my sitemap that's recognized automatically when I added my website sasmaster.net. And I can manually add the sitemap right here in case it doesn't detect it. So in this case, it detected the main one, which is this one. But if I only want to do posts, I can select these to an auto index. All right. So here's the overview. Right now, these are the links that are indexed right now. The index pages right now, this hasn't popped up because obviously it's just scanning right now. And then we have some status right here. For example, discovered currently not indexed. So this is one of the links that are not indexed and we need to know why. So first of all, let's go check out this link and see if it's actually working or not. OK, it is working. It has the information there. So why isn't it indexed? So first off, we didn't get an error, but we can do is go ahead and highlight this, go to actions and I can go ahead and queue this for index. I can queue it for de-index or queue for status check later on. I can go ahead and bulk select these and I can use the status filter to help me find these. So for example, if I want to find links that are not indexed or indexed, I can do so. For example, not indexed, 
right now there's not any right now for for this case check pending okay here's pending ones that haven't been checked the requested the redirects etc and there's a really nice filter here that's going to help you obviously filter this so you can know what you're going to do with these links so right now these are pending and what i really want to look out for is for pages that are not working anymore for example a 404 page that i might need to fix or i need to de-index so it's it just removes it from google so i don't get penalized so these are all the things that you can do with the warp index deal it's kind of simple what it can do but it's a really important process to get your site links always indexed and you want to be aware if they get de-indexed because you're going to get an alert and you can go ahead and take action to it especially when you know it's an important link from an important deal or important sales page etc you really want to look out for that one and see what's going on fix the errors or whatever needs to be done and then re-index it again or just start indexing every single time so you always have your links indexed so it's a nice lifetime deal that I think that for $29, having two websites that are really important for you and having 200 requests per day, I think it's more than enough for most of us. But if you're really into websites, SEO optimization, you need to check out license tier two, three, and all the way up to five in case you need a bunch of sites and a lot of requests per day. So do consider this deal. Like I said, if this, is, this is something really important that you need to have your website so you can index your site. And that link we provided in the description. If you use my link, it helps you out with a small commission. And it's not going to cost you a single cent more than what it already says there. So I thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.